And India today has been getting you all the live reports from Ground Zero in Ukraine. A battery of reporters are reporting from the war ground. We are being joined by Anna Basova from Kiev, Alexandra Matvichuk. She's the head of the Center for Civil Liberties in Ukraine with a perspective. Joining us from Kiev again. Alex joins us from Moscow. Serhi joins us live from Kiev. Let's begin now with Serhi who's just joining us. Said he, uh, give us a bit of a perspective. There have been air raids across Ukraine that we've been reporting about. Uh, what is the situation pan Ukraine at the moment on the back of this news that is trickling in? Like the news are the, the same. Uh, Russian Russian stares on their positions and they are ignoring humanitarian corridors that happened yesterday and two days before yesterday in the region. Hmm. Near the Brovary area, they they shot the car with the women and with the, with the kids. Around seven people died because of this, and they closed <coughs> uh, the village Peremoga. And they're like a hostages. People like a hostages there. They have no food. They have no light. They have no water. They have no any communication. No mobile phone. So they're like a hostages. And due to our information for the front line. Uh, it is a, like new Russian tactic, uh, taking hostages uh, surrounding the villages and uh, declaring that if somebody will come to this area, they will just destroy the whole villages with all the civilians, despite the everything. So this is the situation from right now from the ground. All right, stay on with us, Serhi. Uh, that is very distressing to hear that ground report that you're bringing us from Ukraine at the moment. Rather very distressing one. Alex is also joining us from Moscow. Alex, the narrow chief has sounded off an alarm bell. The narrow chief has gone on record to say Russia may just end up using chemical weapons. Uh, what are you picking up? I have, I've read that report, but I highly doubt it. I don't think Putin would risk engaging NATO by using chemical weapons. Using chemical weapons would definitely be a hard line against uh, NATO, and I don't think he would risk that, engaging NATO directly. All right, Anna Basova also joins us. Uh, Anna, where does the talk stand? Uh, all right, Anna will be joining us as far as uh, in just about a bit, but Alexandra, uh, We've got Anna back with us. Thank you very much for that update. Uh, Anna, where do the talks stand as far as the ceasefire is concerned? Because we just were speaking to Alex as well earlier. He said Russia is in no mood to negotiate at the moment. What are you picking up? Well, the ceasefire was constantly uh, violated uh, any time uh, <laughs> both sides tried to arrange it. And uh, me, as being a political expert, I cannot uh, imagine any negotiations. How can we talk about peace with those who came to us with war? It's what uh, once uh, Israeli Golda Meir said and what's, uh, what is we are now talking about. You came to us with war. What negotiations are you up to? Uh, I see, I can't imagine any negotiation milieu for Russia and Ukraine currently. The only con only precondition under which this war may end is that <laughs> Russia simply takes its, its troops away and returns us back uh, our territories. Because uh, currently what Russia is demanding is about Russian as a second language, state language, and et cetera, et cetera. And um, it uh, offers to become to, to, to renew the Soviet Union and to become the part of Russia, but no. And our government will not <laughs> do it. What's under control is that if Russia withdraws its troops entirely, taking this across uh, for, to Alex before I go to Alexandra on this, Alex, any chance that Russia would withdraw the troops in the near term or how long is this going to go on? I don't think Russia would withdraw its troops anytime soon. Yeah. Putin, Putin is determined to take Kiev. He went on this mission with a stated goal. And when Putin does something, he does it all the way. He goes all the way. He does not go halfway. He goes all the way. So I would not predict Russian troops to withdraw anytime soon. They are really trying to take Kiev, trying to take over Ukraine. And I do not predict a ceasefire or Russian troops withdrawing anytime soon. 
Let's get you a perspective from Alexandra now. Alexandra, based on all the reporters, whether it is Alex or Anna or Serhi, who are getting us these reports coming in from Ukraine, uh, what is your stance on a plausible solution inside? Because unanimously what they're saying is Russia will not, uh, 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 you know, uh, withdraw the troops. There seems to be no signs of ceasefire. The situation is only escalating. You have mentioned earlier that the hum humanitarian crisis in Ukraine is catastrophic. Uh, where is the plausible solution in sight? The possible solution will be when Russia will be in black list of thought, when all Russian banks were banned from SWIFT, when uh, a lot of other severe economical measures will be imposed, when all money of Russian oligarchs in different countries uh, will be frozen, mm -hmm. and then Putin will go to a real negotiations, and mm -hmm. then we will have mm -hmm. a chance uh, to um, to de-escalate the situation. Mm -hmm. Before it, mm -hmm. the Russians will go away and uh, uh, will go further and will continue killing civilian population in Ukraine. Because once again, Russian troops use war crimes as a tool of conducting war. They deliberately shelling civilian object. They deliberately shelling and killing evacuation uh, uh, corridors. They they deliberately shelling uh, medical personnel. They use indiscriminated weapons, and that's why I I I'm not uh, be surprised if Russia will use chemical weapon as they did in Syria. In, in the past. So we will have a lot of uh, problems if uh, our international allies will not provide Ukraine weapons and will not impose a severe economical measures and yeah. other kind of measures against Putin and Russia. Okay, so you're saying economic sanctions <clears throat> is the way forward uh, to get Russia even on the negotiation table. Said he is also joining us. Said he, what is your sense as far as these sanctions are concerned in Russia? Because as Alexandra says, until you wipe the Russian banks dry, uh, Putin is not going to come to the table to have any kind of negotiation. I have just wanted to add that it's all about the history. We right now we are creating a new history and we see that the, our uh, humanity in our head is increasing and we don't want to fight in this third thousand years uh, having going to go and uh, we'll see we'll see how Russians will be accepted in the world in the future in the next future we know a lot that many uh, Russians from right now they are trying to uh, trying to travel away from Russia to Turkey to other country to the Europe because they don't want to be under the under the covering of Russian propaganda and no information about they don't want to live like in the Chinese or like in the North Korea because they remember all the ba bad things of Soviet Union and uh, they remember also the good things, which was caused also by propaganda of that period to uh, make people believe that everything is fine. It was not. It was really not. And the trying of Putin to recreate historical Russian empire, it's a, it's a bad idea. Uh, all, 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 all the results of the destruction of Russia, for soon, Georgia, uh, Moldova will take up their guns, they take up their sources and their resources, and they will attack Russian territories, which are under the control, which were permanently under the control of Georgia, Moldova, etc., and etc. So we hope that these sanctions will uh, make Russia much more talkable with the normal world, with NATO, with the United Nations. Uh, and with first of all with Ukraine, with Ukrainian people, with Ukrainian nation, uh, on which he attack suddenly as a Hitler uh, attack on a Poland. Maybe, maybe much more 80 years ago. You Thank know there you. are many questions that I have at the moment. Uh, I request you all to stay on with us.